Now at 5.30, a violent end to Memorial Day weekend. Police say a total of 13 people were shot in a span of just six hours on Monday night, and one of those shootings was deadly. A 15-year-old boy was killed on 123rd Street and Lexington Avenue in East Harlem. And this afternoon, his parents talked exclusively with News 4's Jen Maxfield. Jen? And Adam, their devastation and their grief is really beyond words, right? This is a parent's worst nightmare. The James parents just devastated tonight. Their 15-year-old son, Amir, is dead just weeks before he was supposed to finish his sophomore year of high school. <laughs> My baby. Minutes after returning from the medical examiner's office to identify her son's body, Atara James describes what made 15-year-old Amir special. He was a good person, very humorous. One of the sweetest yeah, boys. He's, 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 he's the sweetest thing that you know, man. I mean, he never gives you no problem in terms of if you ask him to do chores. That's, he's on it. Amir had been living with his grandmother, but had recently come home to his parents in the Bronx. His mother had started to worry about the people he was spending time with. Continue to stay nosy mm -hmm. and cry whenever you can and ask questions. Last night around 10.30, Amir was with his older sister on 123rd Street and Lexington Avenue in East Harlem. His parents say his sister went inside to get food and he stayed outside. When he heard gunshots, they believe he turned to go inside to warn her. I actually think he ran in front of the bullet. That's how he was shot from the back to the heart. And that was to save his sister. She was unharmed. A 30-year-old man at the scene was shot in the knee. 11 people, including Amir, were shot in New York City over a six-hour period on Memorial Day. Amir was the youngest victim and the only one killed. I think COVID have a lot to do with it. You know, folks is losing their mind. Folks have been, you know, inside for too long. And again, Amir, just a sophomore in high school, he loved basketball, he loved cooking. We checked in with the NYPD. They have not yet made an arrest in this case, but his parents emphasize that they are sure that that bullet was not intended for him. We're live tonight in the High Bridge section of the Bronx. I'm Jen Maxfield, News 4 New York. So heartbroken, Jen. Thank you.